What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George, for those of you that are new to the channel, and welcome to the final part of the Watch Me Build a Facebook lead generation campaign for car dealerships. And in this video, I am gonna show you exactly how we can basically split test the audiences and optimize that audience so that you know that you are showing the ads and the campaign to the right basically type of people and you can generate as many leads for your clients as possible. Okay guys, and welcome back to part five and the final part of the Watch Me Build a lead generation campaign for car dealerships using Facebook ads. So as I already mentioned, we have set up a audience for 1824 or an ad set, um, if you will, for 1824 mobile. And as you can see here, this is the flow we've set up. Um, we only had one image. So one, one image, one lead form. Okay, so this is the flow we set up. Let me just quickly check what the audience size was. I know it was relatively small. Um, 140 with expanded details. Um, so what we are now going to do is basically figure out how large every single audience is here and then all we need to do from there is duplicate this entire flow so from ad set to image because it's one campaign we duplicate in the ad set level we duplicate so it takes the images with 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 it and the lead form and then all we do is change the ages and if we do desktop as well we can change that as well okay now what i am going to do because obviously uh, the norwich uh, audience size is relatively small so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do the entire United Kingdom just to give you guys an idea of the different um, like sizes of audience when you change the ages, okay? So as you can see here, I'm just going to switch off the uh, detailed expansion. So for UK, let me just change this. So um, let me just remove these. So we'll do change the color of this one as well. UK, 1824, um, mobile, with an interest, interest in, uh, preferably you do one interest at a time. In this case, we will just stack them. Actually, let's just see um, what happens if we just do Audi. Okay, 1.5. So as you could see, there was a very large overlap in those audiences. We'll just do Audi for the sake of this example. The more you split tests, obviously the more specific you know uh, what is getting results and what isn't. So it's easy to set one campaign up with all the ages, all the genders, all the placements and all the images, but how will you know which audience converts best, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing here. So what we'll be doing is literally, this will be 25, 34, you've seen me do this before. So 35, 44, this will be 45, 54, and then 18, 24 will be 55, 64. Okay, and the reason why I'm basically spending an entire video on showing you guys this is because no one is talking about this okay everyone's like when i go onto youtube and especially in the digital marketing scene everyone is creating videos on how to get meetings how to find clients how to do outreach okay that's great and all but how do the people that get a client get results and if you know you do find youtube videos on getting the results uh, because more often than not people will try and push you into the course for you know to, to explain how to do this um if you do by, you know, with the off chance you do find a video on YouTube uh, that explains this, they'll just be showing you guys like this one flow, okay? They won't show you the split test and they won't show you how to find the perfect audience, etc. Okay, so that is why I basically wanna dedicate this video to that. Okay, so we'll start off with this. We'll find out what the audience size is for UK to 1824 mobile Audi. There we go, it's this one. Okay, so 1824 uh, was 1 1.5 mil. Just move this tab over here so it's easier. So one five zero zero one two three. Okay. Um, can we add like commas or anything to it? Uh, numbers. There we go. That's easier. Okay. So now we're going to do twenty five thirty four. And uh, it's not to say that the biggest audience will actually get you the most results. Um, it's just to make sure that the audience size is worth targeting in the first place. Okay. And let me just quickly numbers okay because if an audience is below 1 million then 
you're probably best stacking those audiences for the time being to see if there's any potential there in the first place. Okay, so 35, 44 is next. 1.4. Forty-five fifty-four. Eight hundred seventy K. And then fifty-five sixty-four. And as already mentioned, guys, like even though four hundred and ten thousand. So even though the there's a smaller audience um, of people on Facebook between the age of 55, 64, we found out with a previous, uh, well, with a current e-commerce client that even though he was focusing on these audiences, um, it was actually these audiences that were getting in the most results, but he did not know that. And the previous agency that worked for him didn't know that. And our media buyers actually didn't realize it until I actually mentioned that we need to start split testing this and seeing where, where it is that, you know, we're actually getting the, the return on ad spend, okay? So obviously this is all the same as well. As you can see here, the, the only real audiences I would consider stacking are these two. So if you stack these two, so 45 to 64, actually what we can even test first before we do that is what happens if we do 45, 65, uh, 55, 65 plus, see 660K. So, so even that uh, 660, it's okay. Like I said, a million will probably be better. So if we do stack these together, it would be plus. And remove this one. And then this would be 45 to 65. Okay. So rather than having one, two, three, four, five different ad sets, we'd have four or four large ad sets. Now, if we, do, if we do see that a lot of the leads are coming through here, so let's say we get 10 leads, uh, we get five from here, uh, three from here, one from here, one from here. I think that's 10. <laughs> Quickly check. Yeah, it's 10. But uh, if we notice this, then yes, we can then split test this audience again, because then obviously we would kill off these audiences, so we'd no longer use these. Um, again, you know, obviously, uh, what I would recommend is waiting three days minimum to you know start making changes. So be patient for three days and then figure out. So let's say in in three days, um, in three days we get let's say twenty leads. Um, we get fourteen from this group, and we get two from this group, three from this group. Okay, so. As you can see, by far the winner is 4565. So what we then do is we kill off these audiences. We continue with this one. Because this audience is stacked, we then separate these audiences. So this will be UK 4554. Uh, this will be UK 5564. And then we'd also have one. Um, so let me just copy. Where did it go? We'd also have one with 65 plus. Okay, why? Because this audience was previously stacked. We've noticed it got results, but we want to know where did the results come from, okay? So we don't need to do this at the start. We'll stack it first, and then if it gets results, then we can, you know, remove this, and or we can actually, you know, expand the audience um, in, and then basically see which one. Dissect it is probably the best way for it. Dissect the audience and see where the results are coming from. Because let's say, for example, this isn't for, oh, where's everything gone? So let's say for example, this isn't one, but this is 14 and this is one, even though the audience is stacked, then obviously there's no point in, you know, dissecting this audience further because it's not a winning audience to begin with. Okay, and then you would basically look at this audience. So this will be red. And then you'll start to dissect this audience, okay? So then we can do male, female split. As soon as you've done that and you've seen which, um, you know, if there, if there is a distinction between the two, then you can do desktop, you can do uh, Instagram versus Facebook, you can do Audi versus Volvo, Audi versus cars, Audi versus Mercedes, and constantly keep testing to seeing, you know, where, what, what audience, what specific audience is getting you the cheapest cost per lead and the highest return on investment. Okay, so quick, um, you know, mention before we do finish off, this is obviously if you're testing cold audiences, okay? If, you know, you do um, actually manage to get a client 
that has a, um, an email list or a, a pixel or anything like that. Uh, let me just quickly switch off these ads because obviously we're not going to be uh, using any of these ads. Um, and what we can actually do is, um, so I'll, do, I'll, I'll kill off these ads. Um, delete. Okay, so this is our, let, let's say this is our, our campaign. Ad set, 1824. What you do is you duplicate it. Okay, you duplicate it in the original campaign, that's fine. So you duplicate, and then all you do is you change the age. Okay, so we change, this is 1824. You change this to 25, 34. Then you change the name in the ad set as well. So 25, 34, publish, and then you can see quite easily where you're getting the results from, okay? So you've dissected it. Everything else is identical. It's exactly the same. It's all in the same campaign, but in an ad set level, you can see which one is getting you at the cheaper cost per lead, okay? I'm just gonna quickly switch all this off, obviously because you know this was for educational purposes only. Um, as soon as this is finished publishing, um, we can look at the audiences, and then actually, let's just do it now. I'll switch this off later. So audiences, um, you then go to, where is it? Assets, audiences, Okay, so this is only if your client has an email list, okay? So if he's got an email list, what you can do is you can create a custom audience, you can upload the custom list, so the email list, and then uh, you basically have that list of people that you know are on his email list, and then you can create a lookalike audience from there, okay? So you select the source, which will be the email list, and then you uh, what you do is you select the location, so for example, the United Kingdom, and then you add a percentile which deviates from that audience, okay? So obviously, if uh, you do 1%, that means it's 99%. Uh, it looks like for 99%, um, the lookalike audience is identical, okay? If you do 2%, it's 98, and so on and so forth. So obviously, the, the more you deviate from the lookalike audience, the larger the audience will be, but the more, you know, it will differ from the original audience. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. As I said, if you have been following along, you have now set up your very first lead generation campaign for car dealerships. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that final video. And if you have been following along, you now have successfully set up your first lead generation campaign with Facebook for your car dealership clients. Now, if you need more help with this, or if you want me to personally help you with everything and set everything up for you and basically take you on as a personal client and help push your agency to the next level. I do offer coaching. You'll get personal access to me via WhatsApp. You'll also get access to the WhatsApp private mastermind group. You'll also get access to the private Facebook group and my lifestyle design mastery course. So if this sounds like something you might be interested in, it will be linked in the description box down below. If you're on the fence about it or if you're unsure if we are a right fit for each other, I do offer a free discovery call, no strings attached, just a 15 minute quick little chat about your goals and how I can help you. Also linked in the description box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.